you're used to seeing me with all kinds of European rifles and high-end German rifles and custom guns and, and some other regular firearms as well. But this rifle fell into my hands the other day and uh, I couldn't wait to try it out. So here it is. I mean, this is unbelievable. And you can tell I'm not unhappy with it. This is the uh, Thompson Center Encore. And you're probably familiar with the Contender. And I can tell you I'm, I'm not. I, I never owned a Contender. I may have fired one. And I've seen, you know, over the years, they've been around a long time. But the Encore is really something else. So like I said, this showed up, uh, fell into my hands, and it is just the way I tested it. And you'll notice on the barrel, and this is what kind of attracted me to it, it says MGM. I forget what MGM stands for, but I phoned this company. This is a bunch of really great guys, and um, 6.8 SPC, stainless barrel, and you, you probably remember the 6.8 SPC. I think it has different applications on the AR platforms, which I, I don't have that much experience with. But in, in this little carbine, I think this barrel is 20 inches or maybe 22. It looks shorter than it is because the action is so small. Uh, but I mean, this is a one hole shooter at 100 yards, no problem. Uh, and the people that are fans of these encores uh, now I understand and as they uh, always say you have to you know try before speaking not that I ever had an opinion on them I, I thought they looked cool and it kind of has that modified handgun to a rifle look to it uh, somebody put a very x3 I, the, the person that owned this uh, didn't need it anymore so you can figure out what that means and and I guess they purchased these barrels. So this is, you won't believe it, well, maybe you will believe this. This is a 204 Ruger barrel. Um, it's brand new, it came in this box. And um, maybe that's for more of a hang I use, but I'll put it on this. I checked and it looks like everything will fit. And then believe it or not, talking about variety in a firearm, this is a 28 inch stainless 6.5 Creedmoor barrel that'll fit the same frame. So, I mean, you have ultimate versatility. And I went to the Thompson Center site and they make shotgun barrels and rifle shotgun barrels and all kinds of calibers, 243, 444 Marlin. Uh, but I like this SBC. So, I'm sure you know more about it than I do, but just in case, to open the action, you depress there. So very simple. It's actually very intuitive as opposed to a top lever or a side lever. Um, I like everything about this gun. And as you know, I'm not so keen on these stocks. So I punched in replacement stocks and uh, there are some just amazing aftermarket stocks you can get for the Encore. Uh, one even has kind of a British styling to it, which really looked good. Uh, anyway, I phoned them about an, um, an 8 millimeter Kurtz barrel um, and emailed them as well. And they said, no problem. This is, I'm talking about MGM now. I didn't see anything like that on the Thompson Center site. Thompson Center has all the calibers you would expect, 44 Magnum and so on. Uh, but MGM makes these custom barrels, and this one, you know, whatever they do for rifling, I mean, it just looks like conventional rifling, but holy smokes, is this thing accurate. It's just fantastic, and it's so simple. I, and as you know, I like simplicity in firearms and just about all things. So I may add um, a proper stock, if that's the wording. Some, some decent kind of wood would look good, I think. The scope I'll leave alone just because it's just unbelievably accurate, it's all sighted in. And this is a 1.5 to 5 power. I kind of like this barrel and you can guess why. It has the metallic sights. I think that's a great feature, especially on a little carbine like this. And if you know what's going on with this 6.8 SPC, it, you know it's a 270 caliber 
It's a great round, but it seems to have kind of disappeared. Everybody's talking about the 6.5 Grandall and the 300 Blackout, but I, I like this 6.8 SBC. Superb round. Here's a cool feature, maybe hard to film, but they did a smart thing. If you have a hammer that's straight, see how the hammer is at an angle? Well, it's going to be real hard to film. But you undo an Allen screw on the top of the hammer, and then uh, you can move this hammer spur over. So this is very easy to caulk. Um, if it were in line, I would have trouble. And I mean, you've seen probably lever actions like that. Uh, I have no idea if this Picatinny rail came with this rifle. Probably not, because I think it's a custom barrel. So I'm not sure whether he bought a complete rifle or whether he just bought an action and then ordered this MGM 6.8 SPC. Anyway, um, if you ever want, uh, and I'm assuming that they make their barrels to the same standard, so if you ever want to take a, a, a very handy rifle to the range and just have shot after shot perfect, uh, this this company, MGM, seems to accomplish that with this 6.8. Lovely, lovely little carbine. And I'm sure a lot of you, like I said, know a lot more than I do about it. But I had to show it to you. Um, once in a while, the things just, as I said, appear. And then I have the privilege of shooting them and making these comments. But it's good for you to see them. Uh, I wish somebody had shown me one of these before. Um, as far as a single shot goes, I think it's right up there. It's a break action, like a break open single shot, not a falling block. But in a lot of ways, that's more convenient. And aftermarket parts all over the place and stocks all over the place. It's just like, you know, finding something that you didn't know anything about. And that was cool for me. So I hope that's meaningful to you. Forgot to put on the table it, with the same bundle came a 460 Ruger, 460 Ruger barrel. I should have it on the table. I get confused because there was 500 Smith & Wesson and a 460 Ruger, but I think I'm right. And that's uh, like this barrel. It's a shorter barrel. I didn't install it. Anyway, that's quite a variety of guns from one frame. And changing things over is easy. There are actually videos on, on uh, YouTube where you can see it to remove the forend remove the pin and it's all done in, in minutes. Uh, so the next one I'll try is that 6.5 barrel. And I mean, with the 6.5 barrel, you go from a small carbine to a, what looks like a long range rifle and the barrel's even um, fluted. This is a Thompson Center barrel and this is as well. Anyhow, um, as usual, a little bit disconnected, um, but very interesting firearm and probably one of the last to be confiscated by governments because it's a single shot. Uh, excellent in every way. I can't wait for the 8mm Kurtz barrel that I, um, that I ordered. And that's about it. So we'll see you on the next video. And please um, support me on Patreon. It makes a big difference. And I think we have some good things happening on Instagram as well. And I'm not sure, um, you know, how many people in Europe watch these videos, quite a few, I think. But try to get these, uh, one of these encores. You'll have a lot of fun with this. It's not quite a Kiplauf the way you think of them, but that pistol grip stock and just the whole thing. Um, it's a successful design. Excellent. Thanks again for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.